Hey, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Welcome to Kids Stay Home. Hi, welcome to Kids Stay Home. I'm Wendy and today we're going to learn how to make a simple lion mask. This is Lila. Lila is made of cardboard, tissue paper and recycled paper over here. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward mask without the crown. For the materials we need to make Lila will be cardboard over here. Uh, tissue paper is for the texture of the face and uh, recycled paper over here for the hair. You can use any kind of uh, paper. You can use paper bags of different colors of your choice. It can be orange or brown. And uh, acrylic paint, uh, I chose white. Again, any kind of color you want. And a paintbrush, a normal glue, drawing pencil, pen knife, scissors, and glue gun. And I have here some strings to actually attach the string so that you can wear the mask. If you have elastic bands, uh, it will actually be easier and better. Before we draw the face, what I do is to use a measuring tape and measure the length of my face. So uh, from one ear to another, is for me, is about 28 cm. And from your forehead to slightly below your chin, uh, so that the nose will be slightly longer. So for me, it's about 26 uh, cm. So you can use your measurements uh, to draw the face. Now the face, my measurement is 25 from the forehead to uh, the chin. So I'm going to draw a straight line here. And then from the ear to ear is 28. Another straight line across. So you have a T over here. And then I'm just going to combine them with a curve. This is like a semi heart shape. And for the nose, we're going to split it uh, to like a semi circle, two semi circle over here. This, we're going to draw the eyes. The eyes is like a almond shape, eyes. Or you can actually explore any different kind of shapes. So once you're happy with the shape, you can cut it out with a pen knife or scissors. Now we have the shape of the face. It looks like an alien. <laughs> but well, okay, we're gonna draw this out. And so first we're gonna paint it. I'm gonna use white paint. I'll use some spare paper over here. I really uh, enjoy painting. I think um, painting is very therapeutic. Um, it really helps me when I was growing up. So I hope you enjoy this process as well. Once this is done, I'm going to use a pen knife to lightly cut down the nose area so that it's more 3D. And this is the nose area. I'm going to bend it like that and then we are going to um, fold this stool down to be the nose and glue this area. There you go. Next is the hair. We're going to use a stack of recycled paper and cut them into strips of leaf shape like this or some blades, different kind of shapes. And then we're gonna stick them to the forehead. Stick as many as you want until it's puffy and big. And then we're gonna stick until to the cheek area over here. We're gonna use a normal glue to stick it.
we are done with the hair. I'm just gonna stop here and uh, you can continue to make it even bigger and larger. Next, gonna do the moustache and the whiskers. Something like this. I'm gonna show you how to draw it. Very simple. The moustache is like the shape of a mouth, just that it goes up and then it comes down to form a U shape. Next is the whiskers, one big and one small and we are going to need four of them. That's it. Now, before we paste the whiskers, we're going to give the face some texture. And Lila, is, uh, the face is made of tissue paper. Very simple, we're just going to pull like three tissue papers over here. And then we're going to crumple it so that it's wrinkled. And then we are just going to glue the surface area and paste them around. We are going to use a normal glue and glue the whiskers and moustache, mm. two on each side. And lastly, the moustache at the tip of the nose. Now the last part, uh, we are going to attach the string to the mask. So we're going to put two holes over here and then after that, uh, the strings uh, will go through the holes uh, for you to wear it over your head. So to poke the holes, I will use needle like that, a very big one, and then just poke it at the side. Push it in to give a bit of pressure to make the hole bigger. And then the other side. And then we are going to use this string and cut it. So I have attached the string to the needle and use this to poke through the hole over here. Just go through it, slide into the hair and then at the back over here just tie a knot. And double knot it and cut away the remaining string and then we're gonna do the same thing over the other side. So I have made the string longer, so when you wear it, you can adjust accordingly. And just tie a double knot. If you have like elastic bands, it's uh, easier, but I don't have them, so I'm just going to make do with strings and tie it with a double knot. And once you're done, you can cut away the excess string. Now we are done with the second lila. So for the texture of the face, you can actually continue to put uh, more tissue paper and scalp it uh, to give even more 3D effect like the uh, eyes over here. Uh, I actually put an extra uh, tissue paper here to pop it up a bit. So you can also do that for the rest of the face and design accordingly to how you want it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. And please share with us your creation online and hashtag kids stay home and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and see you soon. Bye. Hey kids, if you are inspired by today's video and decide to make something, anything, share it with us with the hashtag 3pumpkins and stand a chance to be featured in our next video. See you next time. Bye.